my channel today i have a new video and as you can tell by the title it is a review video on this tartius pro palette and it's an eyeshadow palette it has um 16 matte shades and four duo chrome shades and this is how it looks Um, this I think was $45 it just released um, and I went and purchased it and I was super excited about it I was just like just picturing all the looks that I would come up with and create and all that and um, to be honest what attracted me most was the dual chrome shadows because I never you know had any dual chrome shadows and and a few of these shades too let me show you like the pinks and stuff the matte pinks i really like those shades so like let me go ahead and get it so i want to you know step my tarte game up because i only have like one other eyeshadow palette from tarte and i was like yeah let me just see you know how i like this and like the swatches that i saw were pretty nice and you know so i decided to purchase it and it came and i was super excited um let me show you um i did mess it up with my pinky nail right here I like dug it and I'm so mad because it's so pretty but I was gonna film a look using this today but this is the look that I came up with and the reason why I came up with this look and not a look from here is because I had a very difficult time with the shadow so for this review I'm gonna give you my pros and my cons so if you're interested in seeing what I think about this palette, then keep on watching. Okay, so like I said before, what attracted me to this palette is the the packaging. I really like the color, like the black, the sleek look, um, and this huge mirror right here. I was super excited about that. I was like, oh, that's, that's nice, pretty. And then I also like, like I said, the door problem shadows. I just wanted to see you know how it like reflect like the swatches that i saw it like reflected into a different color and things like that so I was like oh yeah i want something like that and then another thing was like i said the pink shades i feel like it has some really pretty colors in here but one thing that i do not like is how like see these shades right here i feel like they're all like too similar like you have like two white shades that are like almost identical. I feel like they could have, you know, took one out and added a different color. Like a lot of these colors in this palette are like so, so similar. And I was like, nah, I ain't like that. And another thing is that I don't know if I'm using the correct word chalky or you know like I just feel like these shadows are very hard to maneuver and move around and to blend and I noticed that with my um this palette right here I'm like maybe this palette would be different maybe I'm not working with the shadows right maybe I'm not using the right brushes but like this morning I was just so irritated I'm about to throw this palette out the window like I was so upset I'm like I'm not getting the look that I want the shadows aren't showing up right and I primed my eyelids and everything like when I tell y'all like I redid my eye makeup like three times using that palette the fourth time I was just like forget it like maybe another day maybe I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and it's just don't want to come out right so yeah like the shadows like my transition color i feel like once you put it on there no matter if you have a blending brush or what like when you set on your your eyes it's just hard to move it'll be like kind of you know patchy almost like it's just hard to move and i didn't like how it was turning out so i was just so upset like tar i don't know what it is like you i know they are mad shades and maybe it's like I guess they go by the Amazonian clay theme. Maybe that has something to do with the texture and the um, construction of the the shadows. But you know, I, I would like something more creamy. Like you could still have a matte shade that's softer and easier to you know apply and move around. Because I have many um, matte palettes that I can easily work with. So I'm like, is it just me? Am I not good enough to work with these shadows? Or is it just this palette? 
so yeah that was one thing that i didn't like like it was just so horrible i should have kept the clips of how it was turning out how it was turning out and how frustrating i was getting like those shadows weren't budging that could be a good thing and a bad thing but you know like when you trying to blend it in a crease then you want it to move to where you want it and like another thing the shadows are overpowering like once you put a shadow on and then put another one on like i had a transition shade and i had a crease shade my crease shade even though it was dark it still like overpowered the whole eye look like it would look like all one color like you cannot see the other shades that i had applied so it was very like overpowering like the black the darker shades like the black and the i think it was a dark purple shade like they just took over my eyes and it was just annoying so focus focus i'm gonna try to do some swatches but like i said that was my quick little review on this palette um i don't love it but i don't hate it i'm definitely gonna get my money's worth i'm gonna practice some more with this palette and um, use like at least use one or two shades out of here especially these duo chrome which supposedly duo chrome shadows you know i'm not gonna throw it away like i said i don't love it and i don't hate it so i'm just gonna try to get used to it but i'm gonna do some swatches start off with the duochrome shadows i'm taking this what's it ethereal shade it's like a goldish bronzy type of shade so let's see see that's pretty pigmented let's get it to focus now taking this glam shade this is also like a goldish but it's more goldish than brown bronze i mean And this um, shade is like a pinky shade. It's called Mink Minx. This is it. For the last um, shade, it's called Trendy. It's like a bluish turquoise um, shade. And this is the look that I really, the shade that I really wanted to use first, like for the first look that I created. So. Yeah, like I said, the dual chrome shadows, they're really, they're nice. They're more pigmented. Well, not more pigmented, because I'm not going to say the other ones weren't pigmented, but I feel like these, they weren't easy to work with, but they were easier to work with than the matte shade. So these are the dual chrome shadows. And my favorite is Trendy and probably Minx, the bluish one and the pinkish one. Okay, now I'm going into the 16 matte shadows. I'm going to do this row going down. Well, this column going down. And these are like the more brighter shades. Whiter and brighter. So, this shade is called Classic. Excuse my hairy arm. So yeah, that's a pretty, you know, white shadow. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going into vintage. Vintage. This is when I the um when I was attempting to create a look using this palette. I used vintage as my brow bone highlight and it was a pretty color, it just wasn't moving. Like I said, like these are some really pretty colors. They just don't want to budge. See, I feel like these are, I mean, you can tell this one is brighter and wider, but I just feel like they're too similar to be in the same palette. And this one is like a light, light pinkish shade, and it's called Chic, right here. See, that, that shade isn't necessary either. I don't think. And this one is Indie. It's a pretty shade. This was the first column. This is classic, vintage, chic, and indie. Now I'm going into the second column. This is the shade. Did I just dig some more? This is the shade Innocent. Blending with my skin a lot. It's hard to see. Let me see. This is innocent. This is the shade Fierce. This is the shade Profesh. This is the shade Bold. Here. It's hard to see. Maybe I didn't get enough of the shadow, but So this is the color Wins Whimsy, and it's like a pretty orange shade, for, you know, like a transition color. Let's see where I'm gonna put this. Showing up a little red. No filter. That's pretty too. Mod. Now this is a color that I love. It's really pretty in pink. See? 
and I'm running out of space so let's do edgy Um, these are the darker shades. This is the shade Smoked. Put this right here. And this is the shade Vamp. This is drama. Put some more. And shade punk. So I have to hurry up because my batteries are about to die. But like I said, I don't love this palette and I don't hate it. I'm definitely going to use it again and try, you know, with the, you know, just give it another try. So um, if you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you plan on getting it or if you have it, how do you like it? So yeah, this is a palette that's in the middle. So stay tuned for a look that I will create with this or that I will try. So thanks for watching.